Hello students, welcome to this class. In this class, we are going to study tissue culture. Tissue culture is a technique in biology and biotechnology that involves growing cells, tissues, or organs in an artificial environment outside of their natural organism. This method allows scientists to study cellular processes in a controlled setting develop plants or cells with desirable traits and produce large quantities of cells or tissues for various applications. For this reason, the cultured tissue may consist of a single cell, a population of cells or tissue, a whole or part of an organ. In this case, tissue culture can be plant tissue culture, animal tissue culture, and organ culture. In plant tissue culture, a small pieces of plant tissue, or what we call explants, are cultured in a nutrient-rich media under sterile conditions. This technique is widely used in agriculture and horticulture to produce clones of plants with desirable traits, such as disease resistance or improved yield. In case of animal tissue culture, Animal cells culture involves growing animal cells in a laboratory, which is essential for medical research, drug testing, and vaccine development. Organ culture involves growing entire organs or parts of organs outside of an organism. Organ culture is used in medical research to study complex cell interactions in organs like liver, brain and heart. Mostly, plants can be propagated quickly and in large quantity by tissue culture techniques. The plants produced in large amount using this technique include palm trees, orchids, bananas, and carrots. This technology helps to produce large quantity of food, to produce food with desirable quality, to produce high yields in reasonably little area, to produce plants which is disease resistant or disease free, and to produce many uniform plants. Technically, to culture plant tissue, first, tissue sample must be scrapped or cut off from other types of parent plant that contain meristematic tissue. Then, tissue samples should be placed on a petri dish that contain agar growth medium that contain nutrients and root and shoot inducing hormones like auxins. Due to the action of root inducing and shoot inducing hormones, plant cells gradually develop roots and later shoots and hence develop into a tiny plantlets. Then the plantlets transferred to transferred to ground and planted into a hole that contain compost.